Hi Scorpio and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from November 9th to November um, 15th, 2020. I'm recording this on November 5th. I'm a day late because uh, my equipment wasn't working for a couple of days and now it's back again. Uh, so um, first and foremost, I just want to wish a happy birthday to my brother and uh, Virginio and a happy birthday to Michael, my nephew. Uh, born on November 4th uh, so I already wish them a happy birthday but you know why not take the chance to say happy birthday to all of you Scorpios out there uh, from the 5th till now and I wish you all the best and uh, many many wishes and blessings coming your way so uh, before I st uh, start the reading we're gonna use the singing bowl uh, so uh, the reason why I use this is to clear my energy and space I'll do the same thing for you so um, I'm going to invoke Metatron to be here with us while I do the reading, while I do the, sing the singing bow as well to protect, uh, uh, to protect the energy here. I'm also going to invoke Archangel Uriel, Uriel sorry, for uh, clearing my energy and space and the same thing for you. I'll also invoke Archangel Raphael for healings for those of you that want to embrace healings. I'm going to invoke Archangel Michael for breakthroughs. And last but not least, I will invoke Archangel Gabriel to raise the frequency of the collective with peace, love, and harmony. And if you want to put intentions, go ahead. If there's something that you need to release within you, take a deep breath in and let it go to Mother Gaia. So let's get started. Archangel Uriel to clear my energy and space and also yours. Archangel Raphael for healings. Archangel Michael for breakthroughs. Perfect. So before I start the reading, I do have just a few things I want to relate to all of you here. First of all, uh, I want to say thank you for all the beautiful messages that you have been giving uh, about my mom. Uh, like I say, like I read to the, I read to her every day. Uh, the messages, or I relate them to her, and uh, she tells me uh, also to tell all of you thank you very much. And she's very overwhelmed, like I usually tell you all the time, but that's what it is. And she says that she will keep continue to pray for you on the collective as well you all of you here three times a day so if there's any messages that you want to like relate to my mom just leave them in the comments below and uh then i also want to announce also i want to also say to all of you thank you for all the beautiful donations they really mean the world to me i, I feel very uh, uh appreciative and grateful for all of you that uh have sent donations and if you do want to send a donation there is a link underneath the video there's a link on the right top hand of my youtube page or in the about section now for those of you out there that a couple of months ago i asked you to come on patreon to subscribe to me i have a lot of you here as my family members uh, saying that some of you cannot afford subscriptions every month so i decided to retire myself from patreon uh, i hadn't even started but I was just waiting for, you know, um, the right time to start it. And so when I saw that a lot of people could not afford to go on Patreon, I decided not, uh, to step back. So if you are subscribed to my Patreon, please unsubscribe because I will not putting any, I will not be putting any content there. Everything will be uh, on YouTube. Okay. And uh, I am going to start personal readings for those of you that want a personal reading. I will start uh, on the weekend, maybe to give out a few personal readings per weekend. And uh, what else did I want to say? Yes, and uh, my kids urged me to go on TikTok to do readings. Uh, maybe just like little readings here and there, uh, something different. But it's gonna be—it's a free app, and anybody could go there. So uh, it's under Patrizia underscore eleven eleven. Okay. So I think that's it, right? There's anything else I have to tell you? Nope. Okay. So let's get started with your reading. 
Um, we're just going to start with your affirmation card, uh, Scorpio. I hope that you're all doing well, my beautiful Scorpions. So let's look at your affirmation, Scorpio, from November 9th to the 15th. You got two cards. First card you got is number 30, reach for your dreams. Reach for your dreams. And uh, your affirmation is, I am the center. Oh, no, sorry. I am not the center. Sorry. I am the creator of my own dreams and achieve them with confidence. I am the creator of my own dreams and achieve them with confidence. Reach for your dreams. And the next card you got was balance. Number 29, balance energy. And um, it says here, your affirmation, I understand and embrace the, op op the opposing forces in life that brings about balance. I understand and embrace the opposing forces in life that bring about balance. Beautiful. Okay, so next is we're going to pick out a few cards from Gaia. And uh, so Gaia Oracle is going to show me where you've been, where you are now, and what's coming towards you. Uh, for others of you, this will be a, con a confirmation. I already pre-shuffled the cards, so let's get started. Scorpio. What are the messages for Scorpio? Scorpio. Okay, one, two, one more. Scorpio. You got four. So, um, wait a second, let me put my stuff here. First card you got is Lost Love lost love but right away the, the message i got here for those of you that are missing someone or lost love someone that went away or you walked away from uh hold on wait a second the message here is nothing is ever lost okay uh, and sometimes you think you're lo you lost someone or something or a situation and it's going to come back renewed to you so lost love, this talks about surrender, healing, and releasing that's taking place right now for some of you, or have been, you've been doing this since also the Taurus of full moon that we have, which was the blue moon energy. There's a lot of healing here and just a lot of releasing taking place. Next one I got here is night wind, night wind. Okay, Scorpio, so a lot of you are facing fear at this time. There's a lot of subconscious release taking place and healing with a situation, okay, in your life could be also someone that passed away as well okay and but there's there is releasing that's taking place um you got the nine of hearts energy and this talks about fulfillment harmony and protection while you're going through this changes in life and last but not least you got the sacred earth mother coming to you uh, scorpio and this talks to me about a message of love that's coming towards you. Maybe from a loved one that passed away. For some of you, this could be also one of a message from a loved one. Or there is some type of message here uh, from Gaia that she really wants to show you. Because there's something that's coming in, a fulfillment for you. So now we're going to start with the cards here. Let's look at, um, let's start your reading. So uh, this reading is for Scorpio Sun. Anywhere you have Scorpio in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time for you. Um, if the, reason, the reading resonates, claim it without a doubt. If it doesn't resonate or it's too confusing, look at your rising, which is your ascendant sign. Look at your moon. It's about emotions. Uh, Venus is about money and uh, finances and love. And Mercury is about um, communication. Also look at your North Node for those of you that are reawakening and wanting to know what your purpose is or your mission is or whatever it is that you want to look into your North Node. If you're stuck in a vicious circle, uh, Scorpio, and you're doing something over and over again, expecting a different result, but it's not, nothing is really shifting for you. Uh, look at your North Node karmic uh, to see what it is karmically that you need to release or do in this lifetime so that you could go to the next level. All right. Um, and everything is on Google and it's free. So you write free birth chart. If you don't have the time that you're born, put 12 p.m. And then everything is there for you free of charge, uh, uh, even karmically free of charge. And uh, it's, you know, you don't have to pay 
for it, okay? So now I'm gonna show you where you're at, Pisces, no, sorry, not Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, maybe some of you are thinking about Piscean energy or maybe some of you have Pisces uh, North Node. Okay, so Scorpio, I'm gonna show you where you are, what's crossing you, uh, what spirit wants you to focus on, your recent past, what's crowning you and um, what is your goal, your immediate future, and of course, I'm going to show you what's hidden from you, from the universe and the outcome. And then I will clarify the cards that are called to me to clarify, okay? Well, from spirit. So let's get started. Scorpio energy here. Okay. One, two, three. Scorpio. That was, you guys want to talk. You got the Ten of Pentacles. The Tower card, followed by the Six of Swords reversed. In the recent past, you got the Three of Wands reversed. Follow what's crowning you right now is the Nine of Cups, which talks about wish fulfillment. What's coming towards you in the immediate future, I mean, is the Ace of Pentacles. What is supporting this right now is the Four of Wands reversed. Uh, what is hidden from you is the Page of Pentacles. The Hopes and Fears, you got the Eight of Wands reversed, followed by the Five of Pentacles reversed. And... Underneath, you have the Queen of Cups energy, followed by the Two of uh, Swords, followed by the Ten of Wands, followed by the Ten of Cups. Hmm. Interesting. There's some type of completion that's taking place here. Someone is withholding information from you. Okay. So uh, I just wanted to take out extra cards. But what you got overall energy is you got the Queen, sorry, the Queen of Cups energy. Here you come, whether you're male or female, doesn't matter. Very loving, very nurturing energy here. Okay taking place, wanting to share your love. What I have here is the Ten of Pentacles energy. This is uh, could be commitment, of course, a strong foundation. Uh, yes, there could be a strong foundation here. Uh, this could also be a lot of you, um, this could talk about unexpected money coming in, or it could be a partnership in business. Okay, whatever it is, the Ten of Pentacles is a good card. What's crossing you is the Tower card. So there will be, or there is already, for some of you, unexpected change that took place in your life. And uh, with this unexpected change that the divine coming through, the Six of Swords reverse, some of you are going through a difficult time to go through a transition at this time. Now, this will not be for everybody, but there is some type of uh, some type of difficulty going through a transition, even in your mind space. In the recent past, you got the Three of Wands reversed. This is about not following your dreams. It's about not waiting for a situation or not having faith or hope in a situation. Okay, whether this is, was uh, someone coming for you long distance, or just about your dreams. What's crowning you and your goal is your wish fulfillment, Nine of Cups energy. There's a wish fulfillment that's taking place here. In uh, the immediate future, you've got the Ace of Pentacles. There is some type of, uh, this could be money coming towards you, like I said, a project, a start of something stable. could also be a friendship or a love situation here. In, uh, what's supporting you is the Four of Wands reversed. Okay, so on happiness in a home, uh, maybe there's uh, a a point reach where there's something in a home that was unstable at this time. Um, not a lot of celebrations taking place. Um, you know, um, I'm feeling like um, loss, loss of a home or just like some type of, of, of feeling of not being happy in the home. Something unstable here. Some of you are waiting for something to come in so that you could purchase your home or to be more stable in a home as well. In the hidden information that you don't know is a page of pentacles. So there is some type of new, something new coming in towards you financially, Scorpio, where it's a start of something tangible, or there's a some type of apology that might be coming in for you as well, or there's some type of friendship here that's tangible. Uh, in the hopes and fears, you've got the eight of wands reversed. So some type of communication here, no, no communication. There's no, maybe some of you are living with someone right now that there's no communication you're very unhappy in the home uh and uh you know there, there could be some type of apology here and in the outcome you got the five of pentacles reversed this is about overcoming uh pro poverty for some of you overcoming lack of something uh maybe where you felt ghosted you felt left out but there's a completion here where there's something that you overcame okay but now when i looked at the queen of cups energy i took three other cards i'm going to put them back in the deck uh, just to show you, some of you, you need to open up that heart chakra and there's something that you need to release. Okay, there's something that you need to remove from your eyes to see something clearly. Okay, it's not as if that this is something that you have to make a decision about now. This is a long time decision about, okay? Um, it's a, it, it, 
if you were married or this is a lifetime partnership or whatever your situation is where now, now remember roles could be also uh you know like it could be you or the other person it was a very difficult, very difficult uh, situation here with a relationship with the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. I got ten, ten, ten on the ground here. Um, it could have been a very difficult relationship here that you were dealing with. A lot of different emotions that were expressed. For others of you, it's an ending of a situation where you had a lot on your shoulders. But I do have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. That shows me this is something that is very stable and strong, but you're going through a lot here, Okay. So I will put these cards back into the deck. And now we're going to start clarifying for you what's going on here. I already pre-shuffled the cards. I'm just going to two more times. This is for Scorpio energy. Let's look at the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. You got the Knight of Swords energy, the Five of Cups energy. Okay. And one more card. The Ten of Cups reversed. Mm -hmm. This is about a relationship that's going through a hard time right now, I feel, for some of you. Uh, with the Five of Cups energy here, I feel that there's um some of you scorpio this is not you or the other person okay whoever the situation is here uh i feel that uh you're focused someone is focusing on the negative part of the situation always looking at the negative part always being negative pessimistic about the situation there's a lot of regret regret there's a lot of hurt there's a lot of purging and releasing taking place here um and it's about seeing the silver lining of the situation and about it's only about like changing perception and how you think about the situation um and with the two cups here to here this is a there's there is a there is you know the two cups standing there is a connection here okay there is some type of connection a deep connection right now uh this could be uh in emotions you're not feeling it okay or this this relationship what they're showing me here is that there's something here that is not right now attainable for you as well with like the relationship. But what they're showing me is that there is going to be an unexpected message coming in. Okay. And this person that's going to come in to give you a message, uh, Scorpio, uh, they're, they're, they're carrying a lot of hurt within them too. Okay. You have to understand they're coming in like wounded, like a wounded person. Okay. Uh, but they are going to be offering the Ten of Pentacles. They want some type of stability with you, whatever, if this is you or them with you with them, but there is some type of action that is going to be taking place here. Now let's look at the tower. Why is the tower card here? This is what's crossed. So there is unexpected change taking place. The emperor reverse Aries energy. Okay, yeah, a lot of the cards are reversed, but that's normal because when things happen, something unexpected, this is the universe, universe coming in, there's unexpected change, major change that's going to take place. This is about letting go of control. Maybe some of you are dealing with an Aries energy. Uh, maybe this already happened for some of you here in the month of September of the 9th of the 9th. For others of you, it's about letting go. It's about letting go of control of the situation or the outcome, okay? And what I see is that, uh, again, the Eight of Wands is reversed twice. There is no communication for you for, with uh, with an individual here. Um, again, uh, it, this was an emotional experience. Maybe could have started up as a friendship, something that could have had a relationship, but something went wrong here. And uh, I see that you're not taking control you know, it's not taking control of a situation or not moving forward or taking action towards something, okay? Now, let's look at the Six of Swords reversed here for you, Scorpio. This is what Spirit wants you to focus on. Why is the Six of Swords reversed for Scorpio? You got the Ten of Pentacles. Look at that. The Ten of Pentacles twice in your reading, okay? You'll know what this means for you. Ten of Pentacles twice. Some of you that are, uh, that I do have a message from spirit that those of you that are married, eh, okay, and uh, maybe there's not much love in the relationship or passion, but there is stability. Like you are a family, maybe there's children involved and pets involved. And uh, financially, I feel that together you are strong, okay? The, the Empress reversed.
and the world. So there is completion for you in a situation here. Something like there's something that you're not able to walk away from or move away from. Uh, there is some of you are still going through. There is difficulty here. OK, it could also be your thoughts and your patterns. Uh, something did not come into fruition in the way that you want it to. And like I see here, the Ten of Pentacles with the World card, something is coming in complete circle. Something is coming in full circle. The Ten of Pentacles, unexpected money coming in. Uh, this could be also just a business coming in for you that's going to bring you stability. Uh, this is a marriage that some of you are staying. I don't know if it's a marriage yet. I will see. But you're coming full circle and you're taking a pause. You're taking a pause before moving ahead, okay? So um, let's look at the Three of Wands in the recent past. You've got the Four of Cups reversed. Some of you were resisting an offer. The seven of cups reversed. Okay. Oh yeah. This is not. It's some of you are not going after what you truly want or your dream. Okay. There's something here like that. And what else here? The seven of cups reversed. The four of cups reversed. The three of wands reversed. Not having faith into the future about a situation here. Not following your dreams and not taking an offer. And then by that, when that took place, there was time out or a break. Okay, where you are, were uh, in the recent past till now, there's been healing going on here and taking a break. Now, let's look at the Nine of Cups energy of what's crowning you and your goal. You want all your dreams to come true. Okay, and you got the Queen of Regina de Bastoni, which is the Queen of Wands energy. You have the Eight of Pentacles. And you got the Four of Wands reversed. Again, the Four of Wands is reversed, okay? Maybe some of you are not happy in a home here. For some of you, this could mean that. Or some type of proposal. Or someone asking you something. Or buying land or a house. Whatever it is here. What it's showing me is that some of you are going after your dreams. But working on a project. Or it could be a job, okay? A lot of you are focusing on finances only. You're working hard hard hours, okay? You're putting a lot of energy in something very creative for you. This is what they're showing me. And where you, you, this is going to be a wish fulfillment. Even though at this time, maybe in your home, you're not that happy. This is not for everybody. There's some type of unstableness here in the home here, okay? Now, let's look at the Ace of Pentacles in the immediate future. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? You got, again, the Nine of Cups energy, okay? You got the Ten of Wands, Something that's been difficult for you, okay, to obtain your dream, whatever it is that you, your wish fulfillment is. There was always like obstacles, obstacles, and obstacles. But the Ace of Pentacles is coming in to bring you something here. The Queen of Cups reversed. You've got the Queen of Cups reversed here. Yeah. And the Page of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. All right. A lot of you are focusing, again, on this wish fulfillment, okay? It's been very difficult. Always a lot of obstacles when it was something that you wanted or a dream of yours that you wanted, okay? Uh, but the, the divine is coming in to give you something. There is some type of money coming in for you, unexpected gift coming for you. Um, this could be uh, with a page of pentacles. It could be like there's a project, okay, where or a project or some type of... Uh, New beginning and stability could be in the friendship. Uh, for others of you, this is uh, this could talk about uh, because I feel that you, Scorpio, uh, or you're, you're looking into the past and wanting to apologize to someone. I do see an apology here that's coming in, or you have to give an apology, or someone's coming to give you an apology. And some of you were dealing with someone that was unstable, uh, or this could be you, okay? Uh, that you're not, not they will not. I'm not saying this for all of you, okay? And please do not take judgment. Just saying here, some of you are not working on your inner selves, not working on your heart chakra, not working on you yourself within you, okay? I feel that some of you are, uh, at this time, very emotional, uh, very moody, uh, not emotionally available. Some of you are, uh, you know, still going through, carrying a lot on your shoulders, okay? Always difficult moments when it comes to wanting or going after a project or a dream here, okay? Uh, yeah. I feel that some of you need to, for some of you, Scorpio, there is some type of apology. Now, let's look at the Four of Wands reversed here. Because you got the Page of Pentacles twice. Okay, so let's look at the Four of Wands reversed in what's supporting you at this time. Why is the Four of Wands reversed? Why is the Four of Wands reversed for Scorpio? Why is the Four of Wands reversed for Scorpio? Oh boy, that was a lot of cards. Let's see what's going on here. You got the Hermit card, Virgo, the King of Wands, okay, the Page of Wands, and the Ace of Wands reversed. Okay, 
there is some type of passion that's not in a marriage or in a relationship or in a situation here okay there's no passion in a situation here at all okay and um no one is taking action or going after what they want i do see that someone's uh keeping tabs on you scorpio or you're keeping tabs on someone here and some of you are dealing with a virgo energy uh this is someone that uh, took a break from uh, reality, not reality, but took a break from family and friends. They're following their own path. Uh, they're reflecting, reassessing everything. Okay. Taking time out here. Again, why I see time out is because like even here, it shows me there's time out with the Virgo and the four. It's the same type of card. Just lower a karna my a major a karna here. Okay. Uh, so now let's look at what's hidden from you. You've got the Page of Pentacles. Again, uh, someone wants to come back to give an apology here or there's some type of a new beginning, something that's tangible that's coming in for you to give you a lift, a boost. This is what they're telling me. Now let's look at the Page of Pentacles here for you. You've got the Nine of Cups reversed. The Nine of Cups reversed. The Page of Pentacles the Three of Wands and the Three of Pentacles reversed with the Four of Pentacles reversed. Okay. Someone's waiting here. Whether it's you, Scorpio, or someone else is waiting for an apology. There's some type of waiting that's taking place here. But for others of you, if this has to do with business or whatever you've been working on passionately, uh, you're having faith and something is being restored in you, okay? And this is long-term goals that are coming true for you, okay? But what I see here, uh, there was some type of emotional experience, something that was stable, whether it was emotion, friendship. Uh, I feel that someone uh, is not coming in to give that love. Some or Scorpio, or it's you that has to, I, again, healing is needed, okay? Someone that uh, ca um, cannot show love or provide anything because they're empty, and uh, there's no stability and there's no more holding back in this situation someone is it's it's not about holding back it's like okay let me see what let me just take an extra card here why is the four of pentacles reversed with the nine of cups reversed and the three of pentacles reversed please what what is what's the overall energy on this yeah so there's some type of judgment that has to take place you need to judge a situation okay you will be in charge of this <clears throat> so, so something is coming to you faded but at the same time there's some type of judgment that has to take place whoever comes back to apologize i don't think they're going to be sincere i don't know who that message is for that's where yeah you made a choice in the past, you're going to have to make, there's a, so, so, some type of choice that you're going to be making here. Okay, Gemini energy. Let's look at the Eight of Wands reversed in the hopes and fears. Ten of Swords. The Fool reversed. Star reversed. There's a delay. It's an ending. When the, whatever, whenever this uh, this the type of communication did the uh, stopped between you and this individual, whoever you're dealing with, it was an ending of a cycle and a very difficult cycle. The ten becomes a one, but you're still recovering from this. Okay, so there's uh, even though you're being guided to move forward, meaning that you could go on with your life, do your things, work on yourself, work on your projects, do all these things while everything could come to you. Some of you are not taking that leap of faith. You're not moving forward in the situation. And uh, with the star reverse here, there's something that's not coming in at this time. There's some type of uh, delay, okay, in this situation here. Let's look at the five of pentacles reversed in the outcome. We got the five of swords. Five, five, five. There's changes coming for you, Scorpio. Uh, this is about uh, standing up for yourself, okay? Uh, it talks about there's lies, there's deceit here in a situation. And uh, people don't want to play that game anymore, whether it's you or it's the other person. They don't want to play with you or roles can be reversed here, okay? So there's something about you standing up for yourself here. You got the king, 
of Cups Energy. Okay. Yes, a lot of you are are not uh a lot of you have have stopped dreaming about something here. Even though you came into completion with something, there's something that you feel that um you cannot achieve. And uh here with the five of pentacles reversed and the five of swords and the king. So you're starting up for yourself finally. Okay, overcoming uh feeling lack of or uh, feeling abandoned, feel ghosted, okay? There, there's something that you worked on here and uh, saw the truth in the situation, whether this is work, business, a partnership, and you're coming in as the King of Cups energy, very grounded and also uh, wanting to share love, but not being, uh, it's as if like you want to, but at the same time, you're not like sure if you want to open that heart chakra of yours. And then when I checked again, you got the Five of Pentacles reversed twice. So you got it twice, right? You got it twice here. And uh, it's about you changing your mindset because you can achieve anything you want here. You could, uh, you could be the magician in achieving everything that you want and being successful here. So let's look at the Queen of Cups in the overall energy. You got the Hangman reversed. You got the King of Pentacles here. That's nice. King of Pentacles. It's about finances, being grounded, uh, victory, success, uh, security, reliable. Okay, let's look what these cards want to say. Mm. You're taking action forward, uh, Scorpio, or it's whoever you're dealing with, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy. There's something here that you're taking slowly steps towards you. Uh, getting stronger in your finances, okay? Or there's some type of job or person coming towards you in this factor. What I see here is uh, it's about making a decision and opening that heart chakra. So there is a heart chakra opening here that's going to be taking place. And uh, yes, some of you are still at crossroads because you're, you are like at this time reevaluating everything and seeing how far you've come. But some of you, there's some type of hidden information that's a or you're hiding information, Scorpio, or someone is hiding this from you. Uh, Saturn energy is here, okay, also. Uh, so there's some type of breakthrough that you're trying to overcome, whether it's drinking, uh, some type of addiction. Uh, this could also talk about toxic people, unhealthy people, uh, something that you're bonded to. Saturn is coming in, and some of you are breaking through from this because there is a healing that's taking place for you, Scorpio, here. There's a huge healing that's taking place here for you. It's about you having self-confidence in yourself, in your ability, in what you're doing, whatever it is that's passionate for you, whatever you've been working on, okay? Uh, it's about taking power, taking control, taming whatever it is, taming this devil energy, okay, of Saturn. And underneath the deck, you got the Two of Wands reversed, uh, the Two of Cups reversed. So this is a relationship for some of you that did not maybe that took place maybe a marriage that failed or something that did not move forward whatever it is that this was for you uh, i feel for some of you yeah you overcame about leaving a situation behind but there's lessons here that were that, what that were not overcome okay i don't know who that message is for because someone is not patient here i don't know if this is you or the other person uh scorpio but some type of balance was needed or healing that was needed Okay, um, and this is someone from your past. There was a lot of fears here, a lot, a lot of fears that took place in the, the situation. Whilst maybe someone walked away from you, Scorpio, or you walked away from them, them and there's a huge transformation taking place in your finances. Some of you are going to be relocating, but you're still carrying a lot of hurt in your heart. So a lot of you need a healing, okay? There's a healing that has to take place with your heart chakra. So if you do need a healer, you could... Uh, you know, contact me. Um, I will give you Mark's information. And he's been healing all of you here on my YouTube channel. And uh, I have great results from a lot of people. So if you want his information, just email me. Everything is underneath the video and how you could contact me to contact him. And now let's look at your crystal card, Scorpio. Uh, you got the Phantom Quartz. Phantom Quartz. Look how beautiful. And uh, it's Embrace Change. Scorpio, embrace the change that's coming in. And I'll also take a card from Archangel Michael for you. Let's see what Archangel Michael wants to tell you, okay? Archangel Michael. Oh, you did get a card from Archangel Michael. And you got, uh, or keep your eyes on your targeted intention. Keep your 
eyes on your targeted intention. And your prayer is, thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me focus on my inner vision and intention. I ask for your guidance in releasing any fears or doubts, granting me the confidence and courage to take action towards realizing my dreams. And last but not least, I'll take a card from the angels just to see what the angels want to tell you, Scorpio, at this time. Oh, I've got two cards. No, you got one card. They want you to ask your angels. Ask your angels. If you want help, you need to ask your angels and they will give you the help that you need. So I hope that you enjoyed your reading, Scorpio. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment. Know that I have your back and that I love you. Please take care and I'll see you next week. Bye.